because the disengagement has started at the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh. Remember, after over four years of especially after 2020 Galwan Valley clash, we had seen escalating tensions between India and China. And now, ever since there have been core commander level talks, there have been a certain deliberation at the highest level that's done. And so the local commanders in Demsang and Demchok, these were two specific points from where uh, there was an expected phased disengagement. Now that monitoring of the disengagement is happening right now. We are told that one tent from each side, for example, was removed in Demchok. Temporary structures have been dismantled. In Demchok, Indian soldiers are moving toward the west. This is the west of the Sharding Nala, where the Chinese soldiers are also retreating to the east side. Uh, so some of the temporary structures have started to be removed. Uh, but interestingly, in Depsang, the Chinese army does not have tents, but they have created shelters, temporary shelters like tarpaulins between vehicles. And that also, those, those, uh, some of those vehicles or those tents have been reduced for now. Indian army also uh, slowly and steadily pulling back the troops. So Depsang and Demchok are going to be most crucial. My colleague Shivani Sharma, who in fact, uh, remember, was uh, reporting from Pangong so just about few days ago when India-China bilateral was taking place at the BRIC summit. Shivani, good morning. And one, because it's the arrival of winters where with the sub-zero temperatures, it's, it's an absolutely different terrain at this point. Uh, but what, how are we looking at this phased disengagement? Because to trust the Chinese, I think, is another test. Pooja, this is a huge breakthrough when the disengagement has actually begun on ground, especially on depth tank planes and Demchok, because, you know, these two have seen the traditional friction points between India and China. This uh, flashpoint has remained for decades. And now on October 22nd, the local commanders initiated this disengagement. And on 23rd, remember, 23rd is the day when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Xi Jinping, they were meeting at the sidelines of BRICS. And at the same time, the first tent was getting removed from Demtrov from either side, from the Chinese side and from the Indian side too. And these structures have come up after the Galwan clash in 2020 at the both at both the sides where there are temporary structures from Chinese side too and Indian side too. There are, are about a dozen tents that uh, have uh, been made there and blocking the usual patrolling that used to happen. So now this... Uh, phase this engagement has already started and each day the commanders at the local level they are not only meeting they are also monitoring this this engagement from uh, Demchok as well as Depsang Plains and Depsang as you were, were mentioning Pooja uh, the Chinese do not have tents but they have temporary structures that they have made out there so they are removing those structures they are taking their vehicles back from uh, the line of actual control area and when Completely in about a week from now, this disengagement is done. The patrolling will resume. It means this will be a huge tension-releasing process that will be complete between India and China. But as of now, uh, we can say that uh, the disengagement is still under process. And from Depsang Plains as well as from Demchok, the Chinese army and the Indian so it's, army it's are actually taking started their at least. Back is what we can say. It's going to be in phases. The local commanders are monitoring the disengagement. Uh, India taking one step, so is China as well. But remember, while we talk, uh, sitting here in our cities, think of the soldier, the troop on the ground, in a temperature, in a difficult terrain, and with very strict guidelines at that point, they are doing their best to safeguard our border.